What's up? It's me, M. Kwan, here with Avora TV. Peace and blessings to you out there. Hope you guys are well. Now, um, we're a day away from the big announcement from Apple about the new iPhone. And uh, about a month ago, one of the things that we were told by Apple in a joint Apple and Google kind of statement was the fact that in the new iOS 6, um, and more than likely with the new iPhone 5, um, there's going to be one staple kind of app that will no longer be available. And that's this one here, the YouTube app. Now, we're all familiar with the YouTube app um, on the, the traditional iOS. It's been there from the beginning. But um, apparently, there's um, a license agreement between Apple and YouTube, which is running out. So that basically means that um, this will not be updated with the new iOS. So it means it's basically there's going to be no app for that. Now, YouTube have been working very hard to try and get an app ready in time for that change. And this is the new app that we've managed to get our hands on. This is the official new YouTube app for iOS um, devices. And um, it's a really cool app, and I just want to take a few minutes just to show you the app. Now, if you use an Android device, or if you've used an Android device, then this will look very, very familiar. In fact, this is exactly like the Android uh, app for YouTube. And you've got two sort of panes, and there's a lot of apps that are using this two-pane kind of concept. The first one here is uh, your subscriptions. And uh, if you scroll down, you can see all those subscriptions. If you want to watch them, you can just you know click them, and you can watch them. Um, and uh, you've got some search options. You've got predictive search. So let's type in, I don't know, um, call me maybe. I don't know. There we go. So it's got this predictive search up there. Um, and you've also got... Um, voice search as well which is pretty good if you scroll across on this side you'll see that once you log in you've got your account you've got your settings that you can access uh, with an account um, and you can change the home feed so you can change it to uh, the uploads you can change it to highlights depending on what you want to see there um, you can add channels and then this will show a list of your most recent channels uh, that you subscribe to and it's good because in the old app um, it only showed a selection of those, but in this one, you can actually go through each one of them, and you know you can you can select them and obviously see all the stuff for that. Now, as an app, this is really really good. It's very fast, uh, which is good to good to see. It's very um, it's very responsive. Um, it's not crashed at all on me since I've been using it. So I think it's a good. Uh, good update really. I think it's a, a welcome update um, and it's a, it's a good update that this is coming with the new iOS 6. So I'm, I'm all for this in fact. So that's a little quick look at the new YouTube app. Um, I'm going to post the link down below where you can download it and it's not currently available sort of through the search method on the App Store but I'll post the link on avora.com and on this video and you can click that to download it. Anyway guys, we'll see you in the next video. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow because we've got a massive, massive live stream from the Apple event. Um, so stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, keep it geek. Peace and blessings.